Hey guys, Sean Peterson here again today with a video post on the Welcome Figure Project update. And uh, I wanted to show an illustration of the early phase of what this uh, proposal was and also show you a site photograph. This is a, a Tolson Plaza that's uh, part of the Tacoma Convention Center across from the Tacoma Art Museum downtown. And um, I included a photograph here of the steel support that holds up the figure internally. Now, working with Greg Colfax, myself, and the city of Tacoma's engineers, we devised a plan to use the log that's a windfall old growth log. And because old growth logs like this are prone to uh, checking throughout the entire log, it means a giant fracture runs through the body. Uh, we had to cut that part out and use that to our advantage by um, cutting that part out, making it flat, and putting it back together. Um, this complicates things, and it's uh, added a lot of time to it, but uh, we're just having to work with what we have. And uh, the reality is we don't have old-growth cedar around to carve anymore today. It's um, a dwindling resource. So, like I said, uh, because that... Uh, heart or centerpiece is really prone to rot. That's why we had to take that approach. But it allowed us to um, leg, secure the wood torso internally to the steel support, which is then secured to the concrete base. And the arms will be added on. They aren't shown here, but uh, the hat's on top there. And I'm really new to using the Google SketchUp tool, so I'm a little bit limited, so forgive me on that part. But... Uh, if I did learn that better, I'd probably not be carving at all. But um, here's the routed out legs, the, how those pieces are halved, and those uh, channels that you see there are where the pipe go. And those are joined together. And uh, what I was really excited about is um, getting stills of these today. I didn't have the video camera with me, so I took some shots with my Canon. And these are details of the arms and the current state they're in. And um, this allows us to look at the surface that's created by using the ads tool and um, I'll be posting more videos about tools and how those work what they're like what they're made of how we make them um, that sort of thing a number of people are interested in that type of stuff but uh, what I'm debating on right now is uh, the final surface finish and that's either to have it smooth or textured and I'm going to figure that out once I get the arms reattached to the torso and sand back and kind of get a look at what that's like. Um, one of the advantages of the worksite, the way it's set up right now, is because it's so big and open, I can look at that, stand on the ladder, and know about how high I would be standing next to it looking up at it. And once this moves inside, I'll have a hard time doing that same thing. But... Uh, Again, like I said, I'll be posting more videos about that stuff. Be sure to post comments and subscribe if you want updates. And uh, send some comments along of things that you'd like to see if you're interested. Thanks.